Hello. It's been a time since I put up any videos. Uh, I'm going to show you today what I'm doing as a small project on my daughter's Toyota Yaris 2005 hatchback. On my Volvo, I have a PTC heater. It, it's like there from from factory, but this small car obviously doesn't come with a PTC heater so I'm gonna add one for the windscreen now you can see in another video when I'm doing sound insulation how to remove an, uh, the dashboard which I've already done so the trick is here the dashboard is ga gone I need to follow the ventilation as you can see Here, this is the ventilation going up to the windscreen. I've already done this, so I remove this one and open it up. It's just small hatches here, and as you see here, these are the two 100 watt each PTC heaters. Now you can Google on uh, PTC heaters and the benefit the benefit of them. They are tested and they will, these one are tested and they will, um, when it's getting heated, the resistance do increase. So it's controlled by temperature in itself. Now I want different criteria to be fulfilled before this one is turned on. So you see the thing but I'm, as what I thought of here I glued this together yesterday so you can see here the heaters uh, I want three criteria to be fulfilled now hatchback this Toyota has an original of 42 amp um, 35 amp uh, battery and these heaters have a current consum consumption of about 20 amps give and take so uh, I don't want to be able to turn on these PTC heaters when the engine is off so I'm going to use the D plus uh, I also want to have uh, full heat uh, and last but not the least when the fan is on full speed uh, these four criteria sorry are uh, engine on full heat full speed and the froster on the wind against the windshield that will cover everything uh, you will not uh, withdraw um, or drain sorry drain the battery uh, and they will only be in use when you actually need them so this step is done here like uh, like this one the heater mechanic of the heater now I have check here Is it here that's full defroster I'm gonna use some mechanics here you can see it and uh, full heat there is a micro switch what I don't have what I also have is I have checked the instrument cluster and D plus is coming to the cluster so that's done the only thing I don't have is the full speed fan so that needs to be fixed I have today 
bought this micro switch that will be a part when when uh, when the uh, hmm, sorry when the air goes up to the so I know when the air is up to the ventilation against the dashboard so I'm gonna see if you can see because I can't hardly see myself I'm gonna try to put it if you see something like this I need to have some Something between. Yeah. A bit closer. One more thing. The power consumption is about 20 amps. It's... Or 18 amps. Um, plus, minus, or whatever. Um, I don't think you need to think of polarity here. I'm not sure. Um, you need some thick wires. Uh, I don't know what it's called in gauge, but the, the, the thickness in gauge, but I will have four square millimeter cable powered by, through a relay, of course, with the criteria fulfilled and uh, fused directly to the battery so I don't will have any loss in the cables okay so I think this was the first part of the PTC heater installed uh, I have some more things to do from here but now you know what I needed to do I removed the dashboard I glued with really good glue uh, within the defroster against the windshield and also could uh, see that there's no things getting heated around it and developing or thinking about the criteria you will not burn anything by this because it will be off or cooled down by the fan so this is part one Thanks.